Lesson three drawing in Game Lab. This is the walkthrough through all the answers. So in this one, it asks you, it says, welcome to Game Lab where you can create interactive games for a practice of bit of putting shapes on a grid. In Game Lab, you'll do the same. It says, look at the line of code in the workspace below these instructions and discuss with your partner where you think the shape should go. Click run. And you'll see it shows up. And then it says, try to run it again and place it near the bottom right of the screen. So 350, 350, if you look at the grid, Remember, these are 50 pixels each, so it's 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. And then going down the screen, it's the same, 50 pixels, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. So over and down, and that will put that shape right there. So in this one, it wants you to place um, two rectangles in the exact corners in the top left corner. So if you pull over the rectangles, there is an X and a Y location. In the top left corner, it plots from the left. So we'll say 0, 0. And the bottom one, again, is going to be that 350, 350. If we run it, there it goes right in the corner. I'm going to skip the video here. Number 6. Um, if you run this, it says that you can make your um, rectangles different colors and set the color for every shape that comes after it in the code. Let me make sure I start over here for you. All right, so we have that, those blue. It says now change the color from blue to yellow. So to do that, I'm going to use the drop down and click on yellow. And now if I reset and run, there they're in yellow. It says add a new square by dragging a rectangle block. And you want it to be right here underneath it. So I know that the X location is going to be the same because that's a cross. And that one's the 100. And then I want it to be below it. I'm going to try the 200 and see what that does. Beautiful. That looks just like it. So 100, 200. And number seven. Uh, there are two squares here, and you can see that there's a blue one and a red one, and the red one has been drawn first, and the second one is blue. We want to change the red rectangle's color to green, and then it says to change the order of the code so that the green rectangle appears on top. The way code runs is that the first layer is this first line and then each layer on top of it comes after that so I need to move the blue rectangle first if I want it to be on the bottom and the green one second if I want it to be on the top just like that and number eight um, it has ellipses there's a teal ellipse now ellipses plot from the very center it's also an X and a Y location, so we need to add a new ellipse of a different color. And that one looks kind of like maybe it's an orange, so I'm going to do orange. And I'm going to try to do a similar location to them. Um, about 200, 200 is fine. So for the practices, there's three of them. Let's go through each one. And practice A, debug a car. So if we run this um, in the beginning, uh, there's a car, but um, its wheels are in the back. We want to fix it so that the wheels are up in the front. And you can see that the dim gray is the wheel color, and red is all of these rectangles that are making it. So it's dim gray and the two ellipses. If I want the ellipses to be on the top level, I need to take all of that code and drag it to be at the very end. Now when I run it, it looks just like the picture. And then we'll debug the flower. When I run this one, these petals are off in the distance and not where they need to be. So I need to get them closer to the centerpiece of the flower. So let's see where these values are. I'm going to run this. It looks like they're pretty, pretty well on the grid here. So this one we want to move over this way. So closer to 200 for the X. 
that must be this one. I don't think I want it to be 200, but let's try. Nope, because that'll put it right there. Um, let's try 220. That's not far enough. Let's try 230. Beautiful. Um, and then let's look at this next one. We need it to come all the way up over to here. So maybe about 215, 226. Or 225 since they were doing all these even numbers. Uh, not quite. We need it to come down just a little bit on the Y. So why don't we try 35? That's better. That looks okay. We could try moving this over to 225 as well. It's a little not. Uh, let's try 220. That looks fairly close to what's on there. And debugging a stoplight. Read the code that makes the stoplight. Change the code so the colors are correct. So if I look at this code and pull my workspace up, rectangle, 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 that's the three gray rectangles in the background. We have a black circle, a red circle, and a yellow circle, and then it says fill green. So the black should be here because I want the back of it to be black and the green should be the first ellipse so I need to find that code that said green and put it before the first one and now I have green red and yellow and that's all of the practices in the work it says change the code to make it look like the picture on the right if I run it right now I have the circles that I want but I need this rectangle to be down here and it needs to be in the center right here it doesn't plot from the center um, this is the 175 175 so I need it to be wherever this first square is which is 150 150 and now that looks right and then finally there are the drawing challenges this is drawing dots on the screen so if I go through and run there are little points that they're putting on it and it's just a point that shows up on the screen so I'm going to do another point to make the very last spot on him um, it looks like it's about 180 or 190 200 let's see how that looks perfect new block stroke weight and point so the stroke weight can um, control how big a point is and we can use it to create um, this die right here if we run this we have this tiny little tiny little dots we need the stroke weight to be bigger so we're gonna change that stroke weight for the points let's try five that's actually okay but let's try ten Perfect. All right, we want to get rid of the no fill. We want to get rid of the fill in here. So we're just going to say no fill. And now it makes that exact picture. So no fill means it won't fill it in with any color. So you just get the, the outside. The rest of these challenges are pretty subjective, meaning you can kind of make them whatever you want them to, so I'm not going to go through them, but that is a lesson three.